some woman, sort of a, a, a some senator's daughter or some damn thing, had phoned up someone in the punk rock community in D.C. and they decided it would be really nifty and cool to have a punk rock, a real punk rock band, play at their grad at their grad party. And she asked if the subhumans would come and play it. Now, apparently her grandmother was out of town. She was in Pittsburgh or something. So she thought she could get away with this. Georgetown is this really wealthy enclave where kids go to private school. A lot of the kids, a lot, a lot of them are kids of, uh, you know, politicians, senators, congressmen, kids. I mean, it may be the only gig the subhumans ever played in which uh, there were more live Kennedys in the audience than dead Kennedys. There are all these really straight, uh, upper class, kids, you know, graduating from high school, and then there were all these crazy straight-edge punks from the D.C. scene converging in this place, and they had, um, they had bought a whole bunch of big barrels of beer, they had big, you know, uh, kegs. kegs of beer, <coughs> and uh, the straight-edge kids, the D.C. punks, I mean, they were going crazy, they pushed the grand piano out of the living room and stuff, and made this big, you know, huge area to, to dance in and stuff like that, a big mosh pit. But uh, they weren't drinking any of the beer because they're straight edge, right? So here's all these kegs of beer. So we're going crazy. And the LA punks that are with us, we're going crazy drinking all this beer. They're all lined up there and they're patiently waiting and, you know, drumming on their glasses and stuff, waiting. And I'm, you know, what the fuck's going on? What, what's, why is it, what's with this lineup? So I walk up to the beginning of the line to see what's taking everybody. And there's Brian laying on the ground underneath the keg with his hand on the top. <laughs> Letting the beer run into his mouth and spill over the edges of his mouth, and they're all waiting for this kind of boy. Well, we're sort of burly back then, <laughs> waiting for this punk rocker to finish to get out of. It was just absurd. Grandmama out of nowhere shows up from Pittsburgh, and and is completely outraged. And to her credit, I mean, none of the none of these rich kids, you know had the gumption to actually say, you know, that this shouldn't happen, even though they, they were upset by it, some of them. And then the cops came, and everybody said, the cops come, the cops come, it was a big deal, right? Yeah. So then the DC kids are going, the cops are coming, everybody, we gotta get out of here. And I think one squad car current turned up or something, and they pulled up to the curb and said, uh, oh, excuse me, there, is there some kind of a party? We heard that there was a party that was a little bit loud here somewhere. Um, do you know anything about that? Oh yeah, well yeah, we're all even now. Okay, really good. And the cop goes driving off. Meanwhile, the LA punks are all ready for like helicopters and you know twenty squad cars because that's what they're used to in LA. 